PyPlot is a graphical library available in Python for visualizing the data. So let us uh, go in deep about PyPlot. Seaborn I will be covering in the next session. Okay, so these are the different type of plots that we are going to see today. But it's not restricted to this. These are the uh, basic plots that we'll, we normally use in machine learning algorithm. But uh, PyPlot supports a variety of other charts too. Before uh, proceeding to have a look at the different different plots, let us understand uh, the basic graph structure. Okay, this graph name represents the title of the graph, right? Now you will be having an x-axis and a y-axis. This is a two-dimensional graph, so two axes will be provided. So these axes can be given a title. So x-axis is the label of this, y-axis is the label of this, and the range for the axis can also be specified. Here if you look at the x-axis ranges from 0 to 10. Similarly, the y-axis ranges from 0 to 20. Okay. And uh, whatever we see here, a red line with the uh, name sample 1, a blue dot or a circle with name sample 2 is what we call as legends. So legends explain uh, what the graph conveys. Right. So, but there are two types of graphs that we have seen here. One is a red line. This we call it as line plot and this dots, whatever we call it as your scatter plot. Right. So, if you interconnect the scatter plot, you will be getting a line plot. That's the, in order to understand uh, the units that are represented in the graph, we have these grid lines. So, this grid lines can be enabled or disabled as per the user convenience. Right. So, having a basic understanding of this, we can move on for understanding uh, the basic conventions that are used in PyPlot. So X label and Y label we have seen it's the name representing what we are going to have on the X axis on the Y axis. Ticks. Ticks uh, means, uh, so I will explain here. So what is the unit that you are going to convey here? Let's say that if we want to have uh, a partition for every two units, this is what we call it as tick. Okay. You can see here at uh, this point 2 you have a tick. At the point 4 you have a tick. Okay, so these represents how much uh, space, how much intervals you want to have in between the unit representation. So similar case you can uh, um, represent the y ticks also. Here if you look at from 0 to 20 for every 2.5 unit we have a tick. Okay, so here it is represented. So that is what we call it as tick. And uh, coming to legend, we have seen, so if we can have any number of uh, plots or the graphs in a single graph sheet. So if you want to represent what corresponds to what, we used to have legends. Title represents title of the graph itself. And X limit and Y limit represents the range of value that you want to have on X axis and then the Y axis. Okay, so figure altogether this particular structure is what we call as a figure. In general, we call it as graph. Technically, we call it as a figure and you can set the size of the figure. Okay, depending on you want since uh, that is the size is represented in inches. You want to 2 cross 2 inch, 2 cross 3 inch likewise you can do. And uh, once having generated any graph, you may want to save it for future reference that is given by means of save figure option. And if you want the graph to be displayed on the Jupyter Notebook itself, we have to use show. Okay. So these are the general methods that we normally use for representing any graph. So let us have a look in detail about the different type of plots. For working with the PyPlot, actually PyPlot is a sub package available under Matplot library. Mathematical plotting library is a package available in python it sub package is pyplot so we are creating an object for this named plt okay as usual for numpy and pandas we are creating an object and we are importing all those things here i have commented one line which is um, percentage matplotlib inline it means if you enable it automatically whatever plot or graph that you are creating over here will be displayed in the jupyter notebook otherwise an object will be created and you, which you can save for further usage. Now coming to line plot, the first type of uh, plotting is line plot. So I have created two lists representing x and y values. So list 1 is range of 10. So it means automatically the numbers from 0 to 9 will be created as an output. right? So list 2 
I am performing a lambda operation. So in this entire uh, Python notebook, I have used minor operations which you have learnt in the previous sessions, including Python also. If you couldn't follow up, you are requested to go back to the previous videos in order to understand those. So now what is this? We are going to create a list for x in list 1. So what is list 1? It will be nothing but the numbers from 0 to 9. I am going to create a square of it. So list 2 will be, will be having the values like 1, 4, 9, 16, 25 and so on. So now that we are going to have a line plot between this list 1 and list 2. So in x axis we will be having the values from 0 to 9 and y well, y axis will be having the values from 0 to 9 nines are 81 right so that's what plt dot show it is very similar to matplotlib inline so it will display the uh, graph for you okay i will run this block sorry i haven't uh, run this block and it haven't in included so if there is a star over here it represents that the block is running and you have to wait for a while okay so now you execute and you can see the graph gets generated okay see uh, numbers from 0 to 9 are being listed out numbers from 0 to 81 is being listed out since this is a line plot whatever points that are getting this uh, uh, displayed over here will be interconnected as a line okay so next we are going to do a minor change in this line plot we are going to uh, include the names for x axis and then the y axis okay and we are going to have a title for this particular graph and once having created a graph i am going to save it in my own directory for further usage so again two lists are created so how we i have created is by using the a range function that is available in numpy so i am going to create so what is required for uh, right, drawing a graph is just a list of values so you have different provisions to create a list of values you are free to choose okay so shortly in the rest of the video we will see how to import an excel file and draw graphs from it also so a range 1 comma 20 comma 2 so from 1 till 20 it will go in steps of 2 values will be created from 1 to 19 similarly here also see i have used the same value so what is uh, the what might be the output it should be a straight line so the title will be set as line plot x label i have given range 1 to 20 in steps of 2 same thing is for y and i am going to plot list 1 and list 2 okay so how to save plt.savefig so the path where the file has to be saved along with the file name has to be given as a parameter here then you give plt.show it will display the output for you parallelly it will save this file onto the specified location you can see the title text label y label and the values right hope it will be clear for you then we are going to draw a sine curve okay so what i did list one i have created values from 0 to 10 in terms of 0 0.1 difference okay so 0 0 0.1 till 0 0.9 would be the value list two is just a sign value for all those values so you can just pass that list as a parameter and it will create a list for you having the sign values right so if you want to print the output you can print and check then what is the title of that title x label y label all those we have set and we have drawn a line plot okay and uh, similarly you can save with a different name earlier we have given plot 1 we have now we have given plot 2 so now when you execute you can see a very beautiful sine curve has been obtained as an output where the x ranges from 0 to 10 and the y ranges from minus 1 to 1 that is okay so now let us add legends to the sine curve representing try to draw two different graphs on the same uh, uh, plot and then we'll try to create legends for them okay so now uh, list 1 as usual we are going to create values from 0 to 10 in steps of 0 0.1 List 2 will have its corresponding sign values. List 3 will have its own correspo its corresponding cos values. Once created, uh, 
uh, we are setting as usual the title x label y label and then this plot you look at this plot this is a very special statement so any number of x and y values can be passed as a parameters to here so instead you can write two different plot statements plt dot plot of list one comma list two and below that you can write plt dot plot of list one comma list three also both are possible so you can see this plot two two different plots will be created on the same graph right so with the list one on the x axis and list two on the y axis again list one on the x axis and list three on the y axis so now since two graphs are drawn we are going to add the legends as sign as well as cos okay and uh, you can save the corresponding file in the file name plot3.jpg okay you we can execute and we can see see two different graphs have been created with 0 to 10 on the x axis and minus 1 to 1 on the y axis and this is the legends right so blue represents sign value and orange represents the cos value so sign curve is the title i have basically it should be a sign and cos curve then coming to so whatever we have seen till now are all different variations of uh, line plots 